The Promise is a group of geniuses who have an incredibly difficult time fitting into the world at large, but come together as a kind of surrogate family. It's about family. It's about fitting in when you're different. It's about genius who did some things that made him uh, a valuable asset to America when he was 13. Immunity agreement and extradition waiver. Sign them. He'll tell you how I hacked into NASA. We come in and we grab him and make him a protected asset of the United States government. What's your name, son? The, the, the aspect of it that was most interesting for me is the relationship with him. It's sort of paternal, and uh, um, I'm looking for some redemption with him. Uh, he's lost respect for me. Get out of here now. I wouldn't be here if I weren't desperate, trust me. Trust you? Was that a joke? I try to lure him back in to, to, to work with me again because I realize how valuable he is. Who are you? He's federal agent Cabe Gallo. We worked together years ago. The outcome was unfavorable. Put it aside, O'Brien. I need you. I think that people will watch it and identify with all the different characters. It's also very fun, though, as well, through yeah. the misunderstanding of how geniuses relate to the normal life mm. or normal people. How normal people can take umbrage to that. You have anemia. In terms of fingernails pitted, that's why your polish looks streaky. You know, somebody thinks that someone's got a fat ass. He'll tell them because he wants them to improve the way that they look. Because he thinks that's more optimum. <laughs> and he doesn't really understand. He doesn't understand the nuance of explaining things. You know, decorum. Sensitivity. Which is where she comes in. Who the hell are you to tell me that my polish looks cheap? Well, for me, I think the playing to her strengths just as like a strong woman. That's fun for me because I like asserting myself in life. And... Uh, it's fun to do it on screen, too. My polish streaks because Ralph does it. He loves to paint. And don't tell me that he needs help, either. He's challenged. Have some empathy. Riley's character, the son, is so important because it not only acts as a mirror to how I relate to people, also acts as a kind of a conduit and an understanding tool for how Paige understands her son as well. Checkmate in eight moves. This kid is amazing. And he doesn't like to paint your nails. He does it because he wants to hold your hand, but he can't process physical contact. There's so many interesting yeah. facets of this program, and there's so many interesting characters as well. We have Sylvester Dodd, we have Toby, we have Happy, and they're all different. They all have different attributes and different sort of personality traits. What are you doing? Any idea the bacteria on countertops? Just from chicken alone, there are over 20 diseases you can get from exposure. This is wild me upsetting. I'm Ari Stidham. I play Sylvester Dodd. Uh, he is a statistical guru with OCD. When's the last time you ate? You mean like food? And about a, a million social anxiety problems. I worked for three days on this great loss algorithm for got creditors. lost in the numbers and you forgot to pay the electric bill. And the water bill and our rent and the payment was all in cash, which got misplaced. Playing Happy Quinn in the show. I'm a mechanical genius, uh, so I can create, fabricate, problem solve, like anything that's related to machines. Happy. I need you to get me into a Ferrari 458. Force the gas cap open. There's an engine cover, emergency release. All right. Left hand side of the engine bay. Pull out the ECM tool. Mm -hmm. I play Toby Curtis, and he uh, he's a behaviorist. He reads people. Nothing gets by him. Uh, he knows if you're lying. He knows exactly what you're thinking. So don't mess with him. Those thugs are chasing you down and give you a big congratulations. I beat them in poker. They're born chumps. Pupils, they dilate like saucers whenever they get a good hand. No, a Harvard-trained behaviorist should know that people don't like to get cheated. I hate you. No, you don't. I think with Happy, like, she sees this group of people as her family. And with Walter sort of being the leader, there's sort of that, um, there, it's a parental type of, like, figure. We have a combined IQ of nearly 700, and we can't even pay our bills. We had a bad day. We've been at this for two years. Walter, I'm reading a textbook panic response to normal financial stressors. Okay, if this thing is going south, Walt, just let me know. No matter how hard we try, and I know we're all trying. We're a million miles from normal. <laughs>